Thank you so much, President Ilvis, for this insightful and informative address. We now have a special address by Dregan Primorak, Chair of the International Affairs Committee of the American Academy of Forensic Sciences. He is a pediatrician, forensic expert, and genetist. He served as a member of the Croatian Prime Minister's Scientific Committee established to fight COVID-19. He also served as the chair of the International Affairs Committee of the American Academy of Forensic Sciences and teaches at several universities. From 2003 to 2009, he served as a Minister of Science, Education and Sports of the Republic of Croatia. Welcome, Dr. Primorak. I would like to thank Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, Ministry of External Affairs of India, and my dear friend Ambassador Srivastava for inviting me to give a statement on transforming healthcare for post COVID 19 world. Several priorities are emerging. To build a strong public healthcare system should become priority for any country. Extensive public health care infrastructure established in the countries with a strong public health care system enabled the fast coordinating response, particularly in the domain of early screening, effective methods for isolation, quarantine, digital technologies for identifying potential cases and mass mask use. Additionally, the necessity of the remote delivery of care or telemedicine treatment will become our reality. The need of the influx of digital healthcare platform together with the privacy and security arises. Basically, virtual hospitals are the next step in providing healthcare. We must improve global healthcare supply chain while scientific community and pharma industry should focus on a new development and clinical trial process. International collaboration among countries to share our knowledge and technologies is the most important than ever. Last but not the least, we should be aware of the implications of the COVID-19 on mental health as well on the long-term effect on coronavirus, including cardiovascular, respiratory, renal, dermatological, psychiatric effects. In my opinion, during post-COVID-19 war, our main focus should be in innovation. In the field of medicine, when I say innovation, I primarily mean personalized medicine, both diagnostics and the treatment. Multi-omics diagnostic approach, including genomics, glycomics, transcriptomics, microbiome, protomics, activomics, molecular imaging, pharmacogenomics will become our reality. By using machine learning and artificial intelligence, we will integrate all complex molecular and clinical data in the clinical practice. I strongly believe that tailored or customized treatment, including gene therapy, immunotherapy, regenerative medicine and cell therapy is ahead of us. Thank you again for your invitation, and I hope your event will be great success. Wishing you all the best, and I hope to see you soon in the Republic of Croatia. Thank you.